97.7 QLC. Establishing connection. Live from Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom, day number two with Gus from the Young Guns, a very good friend of ours. And it's good to see you again, my man. You, you're you just saying on camera you're tired because the drive. You guys were what, louder than life last yes, night, was it? Yes, we were. Um, it was great. It was really good. It's great to see you again, by the way. Always Lovely pleasure, to see you, mate. Um, yeah, yesterday was awesome, but we are, I'm not going to lie, we're a little bit tired. You'll be <laughs> able to see us because we're the ones with dark circles and we all need to shave. So. <laughs> This is law. Obviously, you guys are out touring now behind the brand new album. And the new album, I mean, talk about a quick turnaround from the last record. Yeah. It seemed like, was it a year almost? Yeah, yeah. It was almost a year to the month. Okay. And that includes, like, nearly includes kind of writing, recording, and releasing. Mm -hmm. So it really was a very quick process. Um, why, why, the, why the quick process? Because from the la that album, from the previous, it was a little bit longer. Oh, but gotcha. you, guys, you guys had a, well, then again, I should say, though, you guys had a longer tour schedule because you released it later in the U.S. We did. So that, that our, the touring cycle for Bones was in it. Essentially, it was doubled. Mm -hmm. um, so we really wanted to have the last album out a lot sooner than we did because in the end in the UK and Europe there was like a three and a half year wait between albums which in this day and age in, in, in this day and age where things move so quickly you don't really want to be spending that amount of time between albums um, I mean it was a good problem to have because we we had to come and tour here a lot because we'd had some success with some songs and that's wonderful um, but you have to try and balance you know all your different territories and making sure that no one's forgetting about you which happens um, but the truth of the matter is with this album, what happened was that the last album process for us was a little turbulent. It took a lot longer to record and release than we'd wanted it to. Um, we'd signed a, a, a major label deal in the UK and Europe that we weren't terribly happy with. They kind of mismanaged the releasing of the record, we thought, quite quite badly. Um, and in the end, we, ended, we parted ways with one of, our, one of our original members, our drummer, Ben. So. Honestly, we're not the brightest bunch of guys, and we're like, all right, well, there's a very, we can't really deal with these things right. except for the only way we know how, which is just to write music and move forward. So for us, it was an act of kind of a, it was almost an act of putting the past year and a half to bed in the only way we knew how to process and deal with things, which is just to write new music. And so we wrote the album in eight weeks, wow. and we recorded it in five weeks, and we said, you know what, we want this album to be the complete opposite, the antithesis of everything the last album was. The last was drawn out and protracted and took ages. This one's going to take no time at all. We're not going to overthink. We're just going to go out there and express ourselves and have a good time writing music and, and be enjoying being in a band again. You know, and you're talking about that because each album, it seems that there's a bit of a difference in mm -hmm. sound each album that you go in thinking that ahead no I think the honest truth is that it's just a reflection of the fact that we are always growing and changing and evolving as musicians and, and artists I mean I always cringe a little bit using the word artist because I think we're just a bunch of douchebags playing rock music <laughs> but you know I suppose at the end of the day this is an art form where right. we're being creative and um, we just never want to stand still you know, and I think that every success we've ever had as a band has been without us over planning and overthinking it. Like when we wrote that album Bones, we just wrote music that we wanted to hear at that point in time. And so we've always tried to stay true to that, you know, and I think that for better or worse, I'm proud of the fact that we've always just tried to be honest and real. And, and I like that fact. Um, so the new album, you know, I think it's in some ways I almost feel like it's the most concise Young Guns record because for the most part I think it's quite focused and very guitar driven and just kind of like boom in and out, you know, and I think that where we were in our headspace and where we were as a band at that point, that's what we needed to do was just have a bit of a raging kind of rock record. And you worked with David Bendith on the record, correct? Yeah. So what goes into the process of picking a producer and what narrowed it down to him for you? Well, David was someone that we had actually spoken to about doing the last album with. Okay. Um, we, we very nearly did ones and zeros with him, and then for different reasons, it didn't work out. So he was kind of one of the first options that came up. It was also a little fortuitous because he was doing a record with Of Mice and Men, and Of Mice and Men have the same management as us. And we just we were just finishing writing, and then we were going to turn to the conversation of who to work with. And uh, of my some men delayed the recording for a little while, so David had an open window, and we just went whoop, jumped straight in there. There you go. Um, and it was through him that we got the new guy that's playing drums with us, and everything just felt a little kind of like it was supposed it to be place. that way, you All know. Out. And yeah. we wanted a guy that was going to really challenge us and, and kind of kick our ass a little bit and make <laughs> us, you know, challenge us to kind of be real and and get like really honest emotional performances out of us and, and push us and he does do that he challenges you you know you'll work for 10 hours and he'll go yeah we got nothing and you're like oh fuck oh, you damn. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but that's what we wanted, and that's what we got out of him. So Awesome. All right, we'll wrap on this question. You guys are obviously from the UK. You come over here to the States. What's one of the biggest things you look forward to when you come to the States? And I'm not talking about the fans. I'm talking, like, the food, the places you go to. What's one thing when you're thinking, I'm coming to the States, I'm going here? Oh, uh, man, I'm not going to lie to you. We just we love to eat. We love to eat <laughs> as much as we possibly can. Um, Mexican food is something that doesn't really exist in the UK. It does, but not in the state. It's not as prevalent. It's everywhere here, and it's all good. Um, so we like to eat. We like, you know, barbecue, Mexican food, all these beautiful different. You guys just, I think, you, we're, you, we're, you, we're, we're you, a foodie country. Yeah, you, like I can't remember if I can swear or not. So Yo, you can't. You, you, you guys don't fuck around when it comes to your food, <laughs> right? And we appreciate that. Um, so that's really good fun. But also, you know, it's just a great. It's a it's a broad country with so many different types of people in it, and it always just feels like a little bit of an adventure. Awesome. Well, hopefully you have some good food over in catering. You enjoy the crowd out here, Gus. Thank you so much, Young Guns. The brand new album is out. Go pick it up. Yes, please.